Lisa Baxter, Lisa, Danielle, Kevin, Jennifer Miller, Sorry. Nitty Penman, Sydney yeah. Tiger, Melanie Nesky. Okay, the other people hopefully will show us. And just for the record, Susan Horowitz, Laurel Alterman, and Lee Lacey are students. Okay. Public invited to be heard. Is it the canvas? Yes. This is Brooke the canvas, the AIPP intern this semester, I guess. Yeah. Do you have something to say? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am excited. We also have two visitors. Uh, Susan, is it James? And Isabella Alexander. Okay. Do you guys have anything to say or you're just visiting? Yeah, it's visiting. Just visiting. Because we're so great in terms of this was the best meeting to come to, or are you thinking about joining the commission? Okay, so the next item is corrections to the February 15th minutes. Um, you can, okay. This is going to make sense if you let me say all the You can vote to approve the minutes if you were not at the last meeting, but you cannot make the motion because you weren't at the last meeting. Okay. Or so, you can abstain because yes, you wouldn't know if the meeting's minutes were actually reflective of the meeting. But legally, you can vote. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I need a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting from February 15th. Jennifer. Second. Second. I saw it just second. All in favor? Aye. One, two, three. Name? Abstain? So I have five ayes, zero nays, and two abstentions. Thank you. Are there any additions or questions to the agenda for today? I have none. Okay, good. Um, Susie Hidalgo Ferry is at the meeting. She might come later, but so there's no council comments for her today. Okay, number seven. Let's see how quickly we get through this. Direct purchase updates. So I have spoken to Larry Felton with GRIP. He has agreed to the purchase price, and so the work will stay in St. Stephen's until such time that we find a place for it. So that was fantastic news. Uh, protector, the artist, is also agreeable to that purchase. We will have to make some decisions on, so it's in storage right now. So once we get through the art on the move conversation, then we can talk about if we have an appropriate place for it, or if we just want it to remain in storage until such time that we find a place for it. The protector is the big marble obelisk. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I can show you pictures. So yeah, move on. Okay. Uh, and then processing is, of course, as previously discussed, moving to Kensington Park while we take the temperature of the community. So we have um, renewed that part of the contract for another year for protecting. And we're part of the process. Process, correct. Which is a robot in front of four, uh, not four last year, in front of firehouse. Okay. <laughs> Any is, questions, discussion? Yes. I have a question. This is to move to the plinth that we have at Kensington to move down the road, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, on to the third. It looks on the rock, rock, but yeah, yes, it's you can see it from there. Yes, yes. Anybody else? Any comments, discussions, questions? Okay, great. Eight. Art on the move, artwork selection. Stop. It's right about here. Right, 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 right. Okay, no. Oh, no, you're right. I'll just let you go. How about that? We're done. <laughs> okay, so we have a question. We have a question we have to decide as a commission, which is many of the people that have, not many, Several of the artists that have submitted items this year 
has submitted more than one. So our question that we have to decide is whether or not in one year we want to accept two artworks from the same artist, or if we want to limit them to one a year. I think if I'm remembering right, last year we had a composition reference to that, and you talked about only having one from the artist to be able to give other people the ability to have others. If I'm remembering correctly, I believe you had a composition I, reference I, to that. I vaguely remember that. I have memories. <laughs> <laughs> and that would give more people opportunity. Yes, that is what you have in this, that is correct, from last year. But it's not written into the rules, right. so you just, before we go and through this process of selecting artwork, you as a commission need to determine how you're going forward this year. Another, another factor is that we only have five to choose this year. Actually, no, that's yeah, very That important. was what I was going to say. Okay. That'll, that's up next. Good segue. Yeah, good segue. <laughs> Okay, so what if people think that that's the right decision that one per artist so that we give more people the opportunity to be displayed? Do we have to vote on that? I think just for formality's sake, yes, please. All in favor? I know it was real. Wait, motion discussion. Um, <clears throat> motion to accept only one artwork per artist this year, or should I say per year? This year. This year. This year. Uh, for our outgrowth. All in favor? We have a discussion point. Did you want to have a My discussion point was, is this going to change our policy entirely for just this year? Just this year. Do you clarify? Okay. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six games. Nay? Abstain? Okay. Sorry, Cindy, you made the motion for second. Oh. I'll second. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I have six yeas, zero nays, and one abstention. Got it. Okay. All right. So next is the Longmont Downtown Development Association, the LDBA, has offered a contribution of four thousand dollars to allow us to choose four more artworks. Which will bring our total to 10 with two or three alternates. And we need a motion to accept the LDDA contribution of $4,000 for four additional artworks for this year's Art of the World. Steady? The LDDA offer $4,000 for second. Jennifer? All in favor? doing a direct purchase, albeit it's not best practice, of course, to do all direct purchases, but sometimes there are things within the community that um, is really beloved, and so then we add that to be a part of our collection. So
So um, the commission has received their uh, preview of this artwork in advance. Everyone kind of went through to get take their temperature and the yes, no, maybe kind of uh, way about it. So everybody kind of has an idea about how they feel about these different artworks. Uh, and so what we're going to be choosing today is we're going to review all artworks. We're just going to go through it all. So everybody can ask any questions that you have about any artwork. I can answer those questions. Then we're going to go back through again. And everybody can <coughs> participate, of course. You have a score sheet in front of you, and you have five votes. Your votes are your chocolates. And if you eat them, have an extra <laughs> But that's just so you're keeping track of, of how many times you have voted. The other way that you can keep track is you have a round one, round two, round three on here. So you can keep track of what you're liking as you go through this process. And then we're going to go through, we're going to raise our hands, we're going to vote, we're going to tally, and it's going to quantify it in the program that we use. Does anybody have questions about what it is that we're doing? Okay. Oh, yes. I have a different question. Sure. Yes. Do I vote? Absolutely. If you like to, absolutely. If you don't want to participate, you do not have to. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. No, we are for an open meeting. Uh, <coughs> Um, I can click the button participating, you get to participate. <laughs> nice. Um, I will clarify that, you know, the footprint of some of these work. Some of the footprints don't work. Um, some of these things, risk management might say, you know what, that's a climbing hazard, that's sharp. I did not edit this. I did not go through on sensor or anything. Everything is here for you to see, um, but I am going to note of it as we as we look about them so when you're taking your five votes that you get you might really want to think about how you're spending that vote and then we're going to narrow it down we're going to get it to a short list and because we're just doing one piece per artist there's going to be like sub votes right here's five things actually each artist only got to do three but here, here are three things all three of these things were created by this artist they're all in the top bit of the list, the short list, which one do you want to vote for? And so as we go through this process, I'm going to let you know you get one vote this time, you get three votes this time. We're going to narrow it down to those ten uh, pieces and probably three alternates. Because we're not the only um, show in town who does this loan program bit, some of these works might be under contract with other communities. And so when I contact the artist and say, hey, your piece was chosen for Loma, they may say, hey, sorry, it's one of and I just go through the bit. Um, the other thing is if you are passionate or have a feeling about where something like this should go, that you would like to see the Long Main Street on a tree tree, if you would really like it in St. Stephen's, if you think a breezeway would be most appropriate, by all means, please let me know that. I'm not ever going to promise you that is exactly how that's going to be because some of them are bolted, some of them are welded, and I just do my magic of making things fit where they fit. But I try and do my best to make sure that like the two things clash visually terribly to try and try not to those things next to each other. Some things might be smaller, you might be able to think it's a little bit more focusing. Does anybody have any questions before we dive in? Yeah. Uh, is that five votes total for the entirety of the rounds or for the per, round? Yeah. For for and just the one. We'll do round one and you get five votes. And then I'm gonna take you to a short list. You get and five. Then, yes. <coughs> you get five. Yes. Yes. We're voting for what we like. You got it. Um, the other thing, just to be a reminder, is these these artworks are uh, by someone who put their heart and their feeling and their and their passion into it. And we don't always like everything. We don't. Um, and just because you don't like anything, you can just keep that little nugget to yourself. <laughs> if there's something you really do like, by all means, yes, I really like this. Um, if we get into a, a heated discussion of what I don't like about it, is X, Y, and Z. We just remember. And your neighbor who might really love something and you don't, right? Um, sound good? Yeah. Well, look at art. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. May we pause, please? You may. Thank you. Yeah. To arrange the contracts, please. So, I motion for the staff to move forward with contracting, contracting the finalist alternates as recommended by the commission. I need a second. I second. 
All in favor? Opposed? Uh, abstain. Seven I, zero nay, one abstention. Thank you. So moving on then, A, us. Um, nature's way, maintenance. We're moving on to maintenance. Yes. Right. Nature's way. Um, the executive committee met and we're going to examine, we're going to go walk around Nature's Way, all five parts, and see if we want to spend the money to do the maintenance on it. Okay? Uh, or if we want to take session them or what we want to do about it. There are five parts to that. Uh, we have a quote from the conservative, conservative uh, for doing everything. And what we would like is to have uh, the commission make a motion to authorize the executive committee to spend up to $45,000 to do the uh, maintenance or treatments. treatments on pieces to keep them in the collection. I move that we spend up to $45,000 to keep nature's way maintenance for the executive committee. Second. Okay. I say no, that. Yeah, you're authorizing. Yep. Yeah, I authorize. Okay. Second. Okay. Can we vote on that, please? Ayes. Nays. Okay, that's six yes and one no, one of the same. No, two no's. Two I'm sorry, no's. I, I was not paying attention. Oh, and I think did you vote yes? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm sorry, six one and one. Yes, that is. So just to be clear about the conservation report, it's basically an a la carte menu. It says, here is a treatment that we would suggest because of the state of the piece, here is the state of the piece. Then there is also, here is what you could do to make it as close to perfect as possible, and here's what you could do to just kind of keep it okay, here is our recommendation. The executive team is going to go walk it, assess, and what this does is if we're like, that is stably unsound, it's going to fall over, we need to do this one thing, and it's going to cost this amount of dollars, you have authorized them to do that. That does not mean that the executive team is suddenly just going to go in and say, we're going to spend all this money uh, based on these recommendations. But to get some of these stabilization things going, if we're going to get in line and in the queue, we need to get moving. And we also don't have a maintenance task force. So the executive team is working on behalf of you as a maintenance task force. You said that so much better than you. Well, as I did. <laughs> feeling saucy today because it's just looking at a bunch of art. Yep, so then that's it. Not maintenance them. It will probably be the bulk of the maintenance that we do this year. There may be some room for some powder coating or some paint, but this is a big one. And we'll come in. Right? What is nature's way? Good question. Um, from, from here, um, the museum, if you were to take quail and go west into South Mall neighborhood, mm -hmm. there are five components of nature's way. The biggest and most obvious one are two, they say tree, I don't know if they're trees, but these like leaves pillars on. that's got some leaves on it. There's a couple of benches that are shaped like leaves. Mm -hmm. There's a bat, there was a bat box before the flood. Oh, there's a bat bench. Bat bench. Yeah. Um, there's two, water there's a water fountain. Mm -hmm. And then there's I spy, which is this high glass thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But the stability of one of the pieces is, is not well. It either needs to be fixed or it needs to be cleaned. Okay. It's just from Canamoto Park down to what's that left hand park? Okay. And if anyone is interested in joining the site visit, let me know. Monday morning is upcoming Monday. Okay. Great. Okay. So new business. Yeah. I just wanted to make a brief report on the uh, the 
task force, the Susan and I are on the task force and having to do with the piece called Alter, right? The Alter piece, yeah. The Alter piece that we met with the library director and, the, and another library staff member and evidently there had been some history of the previous library director saying that they did not want this piece in the library. The new library director is really, really great. He said, you don't have to convince me, we want to put it up. Okay. So, we have a good place and we we have a prominent place. It's going to be in the hallway on the first floor, right when you're going to the meeting rooms. There's a nice kind of indented wall there. And uh, yeah, there it is. It's that piece. It's a memorial to the two men who died in 1980 at these hands. And um, it's, you know, now it's been 45 years, or 44 years since this happened, but um, you know, it's still in very much present in a lot of my history. So we're very excited because it's been in storage, right? Yeah. The same thing yeah. holds true with the interpretation. We'll make sure that it is, that there's plenty of interpretation for folks to learn more about it. And Grace Gutierrez, who was the curator of the exhibition from which, from which this was purchased, works at the library. Oh, yes. Library. Yes. 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 She was, I mean, the new library director, I was just so impressed with this. Very willing to try new stuff, do new stuff. But it also will be behind plexiglass because those those flower comments along the top and bottom are um, sculptural uh, newspaper, and we don't want touchy feely people getting excited about it. So there will be an investment there of encapsulating it in plexiglass, much like that T-shirt back there. Mm -hmm. um, probably each each yeah. component will have its own individual case. It's, uh, it was like newspaper photocopy. Uh, photo it's not original. It's not original. Oh, impressive. Yeah, check it out. And the interpretation's already done. It's already translated into Spanish. Everything is ready to go, so it should be really quick. It's great. All right, other new business. Um, the Safety and Justice Building. It is fairly imminent. We have this uptown that needs to be moved somewhere. And the executive committee was thinking maybe we should put it out at the recycling center. But I'm wondering if the, the amount at this recycling center would accommodate the bear. We just missed it. Yeah, me too. I'd rather see the bear in some place, but where lots of people go. The thing is, okay. where? I can we'll figure <laughs> that out. I think the bigger thing is that this is coming this is coming down while we have the art handlers, while we have the equipment. Yeah. Right. We're doing our on the move. I'm taking this up. Like I'm not, you know, yeah. we're just gonna be efficient about this. Uh, so I think basically throwing this into the art on the move mix is is how it's going to so shake out. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. The most cost effective way to do yeah. it. But so. in the long term, y'all need to think about where this ends up. I, I, I think the recycle center is a good idea, actually. <laughs> and maybe permanently keep it in the, in the recycling center, or does that flint have to be, okay, so it doesn't have to be earmarked for uh, art on the move. Right. I say we put it there and move there. Mm -hmm. It is definitely, oh, so recycling. It is. Yes. 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 Yeah. I think it's right there. And I also think it could go more with the firehouses. I do think it could go with the firehouses in there. But I, I'm not going to propose that. We just weave red ribbons into it so it looks like black. <laughs> anyway. No comment. Yes. So, and, and we may get pushed back from our friends at the Recycle Center in some amount of time. Like, hey, this has been here long enough. We'd like to see something else here. And if that day comes, then that day comes. In the meantime, this thing's got to get moved. Yeah, it's yeah. And utilizing our services that we are already paying for is the responsible thing to do. So just kind of more as if y'all are okay with it, yeah. I'm just going to rope this right into that room. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So Angela needs permission to do that for us. Yes, so yes. I need a motion to move this sculpture to uh, the recycling center. 
I make a motion to move uptown to the recycling center. Do I second? Come Thank you very much. 